Well, hey everyone, and welcome to our physics homework tutorial. Uh, we hope you find this tutorial helpful in your study of physics, and if you do, please visit our website at www.physicsvodcast.com. There you're going to find over 200 physics examples in every topic of physics. Uh, it's sure to help you get through that physics homework. We'll see you then! Your Sioux Falls physics teachers here again looking more at potential difference of point charges. Uh, we have a charge that is negative 8 microcoulombs and we're to determine the electric potential at a point P which is 10 meters away from that point charge. Uh, also determine the amount of work required to move a second point charge to that location. So let's start by determining again the electric potential at point P. And remember electric potential and potential difference are just different ways of saying volts. And for a point charge we determine the voltage by this equation. The constant K times the sum of charges over their respective radius values. Well, in this case, there's only one charge that we're dealing with. So this equation simply turns into the constant K times our point charge of negative 8 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs divided by the radius, which is given as 10 meters. Working those out, we then get a voltage value of negative 7200 volts. So again, that would be the first answer to the question. That is the potential difference or the electric potential at this point P. Now secondly, we need to calculate the amount of work required. And again, remember that work can be thought of as the change in potential energy which is simply equal to the charge times the voltage. So in this case, our second point charge, it says to move from infinity to this location. So somewhere way out here, we have this charge of negative four microcoulombs, and we wanna calculate the work required. So we can now fill in our numbers of the negative four times 10 to the negative sixth for the charge and our voltage of negative 7200 volts. And calculating that out, we then come up with an answer of 0 0.00288 joules. Now again, notice we had a negative value for voltage and a negative charge for our second charge. So when we put those together, we end up with then a positive value. So this potential energy change represents the work that needs to be done. And the significance of the positive says that if we start with this little charge out here at infinity, and we want to move it to point P, we are in fact going to have to do work because we're bringing it closer to a negative charge that is already near that location. So the work that would be done to move that from infinity to point P is again 0 .00288 joules. <laughs> 